I recently got all the chemicals to develop my own film. And I tried to go get some film at Walmart, but they didn't have any. But I did get this, so we're gonna have a how to shoot with a disposable camera today. I'm gonna make it all up on the spot, so let's go. We're on location for the shoot. Uh, Hi, Dylon. There's no way this is gonna work. I think my first throwaway camera shoot was a success. If they develop right, then this will make a video, and if it, they don't, then this is all for nothing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hey, is this one yeah. up one? Look at this professional lighting setup we have. Yeah. About to get the sickest photo of all time. Ooh. That was the last one in the roll, and I'm rolling it all up. <laughs> to the lab! <laughs> okay, we're about to develop. Once this guy gets down to 102 degrees, we're gonna start the process, and then we're gonna have a good time. Okay, I developed it, and it all came out green. It's not gonna work. Say hello! Hi! Okay, let's start here. My first roll came out great. All my negatives were brown. Then I developed my second roll, and everything came out green. And I figured out that the culprit was my darkroom red light bulb was... I'm gonna try to get scientific on you guys. So the red light exposed the film before it was developed, and that's why you have a green tint. I don't, I don't know why I did that, but it did. So what I did was picked up this disposable camera, and I went out and shot the 27 photos in this video. All right, ready? First shot. Good enough. The advantage of like being on the river, like technically. Yeah. Okay, so in these first four shots, I think if I would have developed right, the colors would have been okay. I think that second one was a little bit too dark, but the other ones I think would have showed up fine. I thought you said this thing all by yourself. I did. Okay, I think what happened in these photos was the sun went straight into the lens and overexposed the film, like off the bat. It just got really bad sun leaks. Uh, what do you call that? Sunspots, sun, sun something. Anyway, I think that's why they're really red. The thing I want in photography is candid shots. I want to like come up to you randomly, click and get your reaction in that very second and like have that to relive. That's kind of where my um, my head is at. <laughs> like this photo, for example. He had just fallen and I was like, oh, are you okay? He goes, yeah. I go, okay. Click. Because <laughs> I wanted to get his, how he felt in that moment. What? So the cool thing about having the video along with the photos, like to see what I shot right before and right after, like how the light was, is I can see that this photo sucks because it didn't have enough light in it. And I didn't know that at the time. And it's kind of cool to come back and say, oh yeah, that's what that was. And that's why this photo sucks. For the parking lot. It has a It's kind of dark. Yeah. No way this is gonna work. Hey, this one. Honestly, I think this flash is a true gangster. Like, just randomly, you point, you shoot, you flash. If it's too dark, and it looks great. Like, and it's a very stylistic photo, and I really like these. Oh. 
Okay, so that does it, and like I said, I figured out why the light wasn't working, so I went out and bought another point and shoot, and I shot the next day, and I'll put in those photos right now to see what they could have been. I really like these photos because they're just moments that happen at the bar and it's kind of cool. I like those a lot. But anyway, I'm going to shoot a lot more of these because I think they're really fun. I really am getting into film photography and I want to do more of it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I love you so much. Okay, bye.